Okay, today we got a J-Max. It's had some gearbox trauma. The uh, circlip disintegrated. It's been a long, long time since I've seen that. Every time a Rotax comes in, even if it's just a quick check over before a big meeting, uh, I'd change the circlip. So I just, I don't trust them. And this is why. Uh, this motor, I did change the circlips on last time it was here, um, you know, we do what we can. Um, you know, when I'm putting the circlips on, I'm always super careful not to stress them any further than I have to. Um, but they are a, a part that can have traumas. I don't think the owner was doing anything wrong with it. It just happens sometimes. It's not what you want to hear, but it is the truth. Um, sometimes you can tell if a customer is really, really hard on the throttle and brake when they're warming it up. The uh, circlips will actually spin a little bit on the uh, on the crank. Um, there's tiny little wear marks there, but it doesn't look like that's been the case. Um, there's all metal and crap and things in all of the bearings, but the motor itself hasn't done um, a lot of running. So... Today we're new ba main bearings because this one feels a little bit notchy when I was turning the crank over before. Uh, new counter shaft bearings, clean up all the crap um, from the metal and all the rest of it. Uh, new water pump shaft and clean out all of that area, clean the cases up and um, reassemble the motor because it hasn't done um, a lot of running. So it's all about getting them back on the track without spending uh, an absolute fortune. Uh, we just got to get all the glitter out because glitter is cool at birthday parties, but not in gearboxes. So I've been told. So there's going to be a lot of cleaning on this one, which, you know, I tend to think that people don't want to see. Um, I'm going, I am very open with most of the settings and stuff that I put into the motors, but I don't share um, how I hone. That's, that's mine, not yours, can't have none. Um, and um, I don't bother showing you the cleaning process because um, uh, if you guys like watching videos of people clean, there's a lot better looking people on YouTube that do that than me. So here we go. We'll um, actually we don't we don't really need to let's let's we don't really need to do that. Let's just take the barrel off. My hammer. Or should I say mallet? Mm. Mm. I'm feeling indecisive today. Nope, you're already missing them. Nope, I need the, uh, the old high torque bit. Jesus! Someone definitely consumed the wheat bix before. Come on, be nice. Is that bolt snapped off in there? Maybe.
Or is it jammed against the engine mount? No, I think I think we've got a snap bolt head in there. Uh, all right. Let's go with the engine mount first then. We'll get there eventually, I promise you. That's a solid bit of uh, solid bit of metal. Oh, it doesn't appear to be Hmm. Super odd. Nice. We'll get the rest of it apart and then we'll get to Keep getting ahead of myself. Your muffs.
So a pretty square. How's your eardrums? Ah, that's why the gearbox is full of rocks and... Chappy mm. chappy chap chap! We're not hitting the shaft, I'm hitting the aluminium. Oh lordy, you're going to be a drama. It's gone and created its own friggin' Loctite with grease and schmoo and rocks and dust and dirt and stuff and it's all packed into there. Not that we'll reuse those, we just want to measure those. Always the way. That's better. Before you get your niggers in a twist, we're changing the main bearings anyway, and I will check the crank for alignment anyway. 
So it's all good. Oh, even in the little bearing. Oh, so much cleaning to happen. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. So much cleaning to happen. That's that's what being an engine builder is. You just clean people's stuff effectively. And then while you're cleaning it, you go, hey, I cleaned all the dirt off and it's worn out underneath the dirt. I can see that now. It's okay. I got clean, dirty go-kart as well. them in while we're here. Right down on there instead of all the rocks. Crank seal's out. Crank seal tool. All right, that's it for the disassembly, I think. I'm gonna go uh, swear at my um, cleaning sink uh, and get this all cleaned up and we'll um, stick it in the oven, get the bearings out. Now, once the bearings are out, I clean it again because all the schmoo behind the bearings. And, um, will come back when it's time to reassemble. Anyway, thanks for joining.